uh, someone in the building called you or uh, caught you yelling, uh oh, as Chris was hitting his back to back mid range jumpers. What was it like for you to see Chris find that rhythm that he's been looking for through the injury? Yeah. Um, I mean, we knew it was coming with time. You know, if it's nothing structurally damaged, we knew that, you know, he, he needs some time. So, you know, I think that's what makes this win, you know, even, even bigger for us. Um, but, you know, just having Chris out there and him being a threat and making plays for everybody and, and feeling more healthy um, is what we've been doing all year. You know, so that's what we're accustomed to. That's what we're used to. Um, and he's leading us all the way through. So, you know, I'm happy to see him, you know, getting better, getting healthier by the, by the second. All right, up next is going to be Cody Cunningham from the Phoenix Suns, followed by Christo Saltas. Look, uh, during the post-game interview, Chris said, Phoenix, we're going to need you. Um, just how excited are you to return back home to Phoenix with this series all tied up, and what's your message for uh, Suns fans? Uh, the question broke up a little bit. I think you asked about coming back to Phoenix, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, just just with it all tied up, and just what's your message yeah. with like, Suns fans and stuff? I mean, I'm looking forward to it, man. I just hit my socials and said, back to the desert. You know, I know we got an extra 5,000 in there from, from last game. Um, and it's something we're really looking forward to. You know, it's the atmosphere that we've been around. It's the atmosphere that this organization and this fan base in this city has been waiting on. So, you know, the first two games, you know, it felt like it was full house already. Um, you know, so with the addition of 5,000 more, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a, uh, sure it's going to be jumping in there. All right, next up is going to be Christo Saltos from Greece, followed by Dwayne Rankin. Hey, Devin, great game. Congratulations on the win, first of all. Thank My you. question to you is, what kind of inspiration for you is Chris Paul and the way that he leads on the court for your team? And what it means that reaction, that response after the two straight losses against the Lakers? What was the second question about? You said two straight losses? About uh, the way that you responded tonight after oh, yeah, two yeah. straight losses against the Lakers. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of our team. You know, we've, we've had two days off and we spent both, both days in the gym just decompressing um, and having conversation and you know, not taking it too too serious, you know, trying to keep our gym the same as it's been during the regular season. Um, and I think that was really important for us, understanding that it's called the series for a reason. Um, every game has its own different personality. Uh, I think there's going to be highs and lows throughout. You know, there's going to be emotional plays. There's going to be arguing. Um, there's going to be a lot of extra to it. Um, but just having a quick memory. Um, getting over your last loss and moving on to the next game. Um, and I'm proud of our team for, you know, a lot of us, this being our first experience out there, you know, having the mental ability to do that. Next up will be Dwayne Rankin from the Arizona Republic, followed by Kellen Olson. Hey, Devin, just two quick things. One, um, how do you sense this game can carry over into game five? And then two, you know, getting getting contributions like you guys got today from Mikhail and, and Jay, who hadn't been given that offensive production going into game four. What was that like seeing the other guys, uh, you know, I don't want to call them others in that sense, but you get what I'm saying, being able to play the way they did. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's what you need. You know, that's the playoffs. You know, you have to play well as a team to win. Um, big teams know your plays. They know what you've done all year. They know your first, second, and third options. So it comes down to just being able to play and having the correct spacing and, and executing. Um, them guys still, you know, I've had confidence and, you know, same with myself. You know, I haven't shot the bell like I wanted, but you move on to the next play and you understand what the goal is. And, you know, that's to win the game, you know, no matter how the shots are going. You know, your next shot is, is the most important one. Um, and Jay and Mikel stepped up big in, in that regard today. Um, I think that's good energy moving into the next round. Quick follow. Oh. Sorry about that, Dwayne. Go ahead. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. No, Devin, obviously, much has always made offense, but defensively, you guys were all over the all over the place. LeBron had like six turnovers. What would you, you think you guys did well on that end to get this win? I think we just played without fouling. Um, you know, the past couple of games. You know, there's been some calls that, that slowed down our game. You know, if you're taking it out from the free throw, you know, every possession, it gives them a chance to set their defense. So, you know, just playing without fouling, you know, getting the ball out and playing in transition, you know, how we've been playing most of the year. Next up is going to be Kellen Olsen with Arizona Sports, followed by Greg Moore. 
Hey, Book, with the way they've been defending you in this series, it would be easy for a lot of guys in a game like today to force every single look you get, but you were still looking to get your teammates involved through point five. How important was it for you to maintain that mentality despite the way, like you said, you've been shooting the ball so far? Yeah, just, you know, understanding what the defense is trying to do. You know, if there are heavy shifts and have two or three people focus on the ball, you know, we, we have a great team that I can make other plays for, for other people. Uh, I think you've seen that with the big three that Mikhail hit on the three late in the game. You know, these guys are shifting all the way over to, you know, the free throw line, try, trying to stop penetration. Um, and that's fine with me. You know, I'm fine with getting off the ball and, and you know, trusting my teammates. Um, we have some players over here, and, you know, I'm excited. We, we hit some big shots and created some big shots. Next up will be Greg Moore with the Arizona Republic. Thank you, Devin. Good to see you, man. Congratulations on the win. What was going through your mind, man? Um, midway through the second quarter, the Lakers started to make a little bit of a surge. Uh, and then you guys really pushed back. And for me watching that, I said, okay, it looks like the Suns are going to stand up differently today than they did in previous games. But what was going through your mind at that point? Uh, win the game. You know, that's, uh, that's how my mind, you know, the whole entire game. Um, and understanding it's a long game. Uh, I mean, I understand it's the playoffs and it's very emotional, but you know, you can see when the league gets to five to 10 either way, you know, a lot of emotions come out, but just stay level. You know, that's what we've been doing the whole season. Um, there's four quarters for a reason. No game has ever ended at halftime. Um, and just have an understanding of that, you know, the next play mentality um, and just control what you can control with the officials and, you know, try to not put too much energy you know, to them in that regard and move to the next play. Our last question is going to be with um, Kirsten Schussel with um, 12 News. Hey, Book, um, wondering if you got any sense of the the mental grind this series has been for, for Chris, just on any given night, not knowing how long he's going to play, what he's going to play like, uh, et cetera? I mean, you know, it, it's contagious. You know, even when the, when the injury first happened, seeing him on the ground and you know, seeing the emotion in his face, hearing the emotion in his voice, you know, you understand somebody that's, you know, put in, you know, countless numbers of hours in, into his craft to, you know, perform at, at this time and at this level. And, you know, for something that he can't control to be holding them back, you know, I know, you know, has been bothering him. Just, so to see him progress every day, see his mental, his, his energy clean up. Um, and today, I think, I mean, I think, every second or every minute, it's getting better. Um, you know, so just see him still keep his spirit high um, and relay those messages to us as a team, um, being the being the leader that he is, you know, it's contagious all the way all the way through our team. Cameron, even as well as you've played, you've said that the team would look better with Chris out there. Well, what do you think about the, the way he gutted it out and played the way and played and played the way he played today? Uh, he was big time. Uh, like I said before, man, it's, the, the game's a lot easier when he's out there. Uh, we're a much better team. I mean, he he been the quarterback the whole season, so it's always a blessing to have him out there with us. Uh, he shot the he shot the ball. Man, that, that was a plus. He was able to find people. That was a plus. So I mean, it was just great to have him out out there with us tonight. Next is Kellen Olson with Arizona Sports, and then Greg Moore. Hey, Cam, Monty said going into the game that he just had four bullet points up for you guys that were mostly getting back to the way you guys played. Do you feel like today you you guys did just that? For sure. Uh, we play fast. I mean, I, like I preach all the time, we, we need to play Phoenix Suns basketball. We did that today. And uh, we got to win. We got we to gotta keep playing that way. Next up is Greg Moore with the Arizona Republic, followed by Catherine Fitzgerald. Yeah, I'm Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. Good to see you, man. Um, what do you think of your team's reaction uh, and, and standing up for themselves when the game got physical versus how it got, you know, in previous games? Uh, we kept our boys. Uh, we was we was locked in on the task at hand. We knew we had to get a win. Uh, no, no matter about the extra stuff, we we, we had one mindset tonight. And we got to have that mindset every 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 game going forward. Uh, can't worry about the refs. Just got to worry about Phoenix Suns basketball and, and, and keep doing what we do. Keep doing what we've been doing all season. Next up is Catherine Fitzgerald with the Arizona Republic and then Gina Mizell. 
Cam, the cameras that caught you and Chris Paul having a pretty long conversation pregame. I know earlier in the week you had said, regardless of how much he's playing, you're just always trying to listen and listen. What were some of those conversations ahead of today's game? Um, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't. I can't really say that. Uh, besides the fact, man, he said I'm, I'm, I'm in tonight, and I and I feel good. Uh, that's 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 really about all he said. I ain't gonna go into detail on that. I'm sorry, Gina. I'm sorry. Next up is Gina Mizell with Suns.com, and then Nick King. No need to apologize to me. That was Catherine <laughs> from the Republic. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> no, you're all good. You're all good. Um, just the defensive effort that you guys had today. Just what do you feel like the biggest keys were on on the end of the floor? Um, we 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 crashed the glass. We kept them off the line. Um, I mean, we kind of packed packed the paint in uh, today. Uh, kept them off the offensive glass. I mean, they've been beating us up on the offensive, offensive glass. It seemed like whoever, whoever wins the offensive rebound battle uh, kind of wins. Whoever gets the most free throws kind of wins. So uh, we knew we had to uh, make them shoot threes and, and, and pack the paint. Uh, just had to keep them out of the paint tonight. Final two questions are Nick King with Channel 3, Channel 5, and Cameron Cox. Yeah, I know after game three, there was – you know, talk about not coming out of half the way you guys wanted to with kind of the requisite energy. Completely different tonight. What did you see in that stretch, especially like the first four minutes of the third quarter? Uh, well, before the game, uh, like you said, we wasn't uh, doing too well coming in and in the half. That was one of our keys. We we got to we got to be ready to play coming in at halftime because the Lakers been doing a good job uh, coming in at third beginning of the third quarter getting on the runs. Uh, so today, uh, one of our keys was be ready at the beginning of the third quarter. We got we to gotta hit first. We, we, we can't keep getting hit first. So uh, we came out and did what we were supposed to do. Final question is Cameron Cox at 12 News. Hey, Cam. Uh, DeAndre's played so great this series, but what's it like to see him roll to the rim like he was tonight and take the rim with him? Oh, fantastic. It's, it's great. Uh, Whenever, whenever DA gets going, it opens up the game for the guards. Uh, so, I mean, the fact that he rolls hard every time, it helps everyone out there on the court. Uh, he's been rolling all series, just getting behind the uh, defenders in the pick and roll. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to keep doing that because that's where he's been eating. So, uh, keep rolling hard, and we're going to find him. Uh, CC does a great job finding him. I'm trying to get better, but he does a fantastic job finding him. And I'm just trying to learn. DA has been playing big and he got to keep going. Yeah, Jay, just a couple of things, just real quick. First, obviously, you know, the, the way the game ended, game three ended, that wasn't truly the way you wanted to go out. And then coach talked about you really, you know, have dealing with the shooting and everything. But how nice was it to A, respond the way you did today and then have that huge three where they could have cut it to five. They miss a layup. You hit a three. You're up ten. You're basically under a minute and a half left. Well, you know, everything's been a little off kilter here because of our our point guard. Honestly, it's not an excuse. Uh, that's just us having having to uh, adjust uh, on the fly in a sense. And you know, uh, my shots and things are coming different. Our offense is clicking different when he's not on the court. So we have to adjust and be prepared to play without him, even though we want him to play very badly because you see what he can do. Uh, but it's just a, a matter of adjusting. I've been here before. Um, I've been in slumps before, and I, and I just stay even keel. Um, lean on, lean on my teammates, and that's what my that's what I want my teammates to do. For, for, that's what I want to be for my teammates. Someone they can lean on when things get tough, and my teammates are there for me throughout the first few games. And just got to stay even keel throughout this whole thing because it's a long series. Next up is going to be Kellen Olson with Arizona Sports, followed by Greg Moore. Hey, Jay, to what you just said about this being a long series, how would you like the team's response in terms of getting back to the way you guys play on both ends of the floor? Liked it a lot. That's what we, that's what we have to do. Obviously, we had spurts there in the second half of last game that we, that we took from that and just tried to amplify it for the, uh, for the whole game. You know, just trying to do what we do uh, on both ends of the court and play free, but at the same time have a game plan behind it. And I think we executed the game plan well and we played together uh, and re responded well. When those guys went on runs, I felt like we responded the right way. And that's what it's all about. Next up is Greg Moore with the Arizona Republic, followed by Chirsten Suso. Jay, good to see you. Congratulations on the Thanks. win. And to echo Dwayne, it was a huge shot at the end. Um, I'd like to know about your responses 
to those little playoff moments, you know, where guys are pushing and shoving and doing all that little stuff after the whistle, whatever. You guys seem to stand up differently today than you did in previous games. Can you tell me about that, please? We've just been preaching poise. Playoff basketball sometimes may rattle you, uh, may get you excited, may get you angry. Uh, you just got to stay even keeled and stay poised. And we've been talking about it the past few days, just have our poise, um, trash talking, um, take it to it, take it, take it on the court, take it between the lines and, and take it to them. Uh, don't buy into all of the other stuff, all of the antics. Um, just continue to play hard, continue to stay focused and play with poise. And I think we, we showed that today, especially when it's going to be scrum, it's going to be battles, it's going to be heated moments, uh, but we got to stay even keeled and we got to have each other back and stay poised. And I think today we showed that. Next up is Cheerson Sousa with 12 News, followed by Nick King. Hey, Jay, just kind of going off of that, um, you know, definitely showed a lot of poise tonight. But ever since game three, there's been a lot of comments um, and sort of a narrative that started that the Suns are a dirty team. And that's mostly coming from the Lakers sides of things. But just knowing the character of, of players and who you guys are, do you feel the need to defend yourselves um, from, from comments like that? No, I don't feel like we need to respond to it. They have an opinion. That's their opinion. That's what it is. Uh, obviously, we're playing the game to, to, to win the game. We're not trying to hurt anyone or, or, or do anything like that. But it's a physical style play. It's a physical brand of basketball that both teams are imposing their will on. So um, we're not complaining when they do stuff with, um, to us. But so we're just trying to um, play basketball at the end of the day. We're not trying to keep it clean and, and play basketball because we know uh, playing dirty and playing whatever you, they, they think we're playing is not going to get us wins at the end of the day. So uh, we're not playing the game. We're not out to get anyone. We're just trying to play basketball, play with a physical uh, mindset, um, and impose our will more times than they do. Time for three more. Next up is Nick King with Channel 3, Channel 5, followed by Gina Mizell. Jay, what kind of uh, emotional impact do you think it had seeing Chris look a lot more like Chris Paul? I mean... Everything clicks a little better with, with three on the court and three hit being himself. Um, that's vocally, that's him being, being vocal with our units. Uh, that's him making plays on, 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 with the ball in his hands. And, and I feel like we feed off of that. Obviously, he's a big part of the puzzle, like I, I've been saying all year. He's a key part of our, of our puzzle. So uh, it's a little challenging when we don't have him um, doing things that he normally does. So it is what it is. We, we made it this, to this point. Hopefully, we, we got a few days uh, to get, get home tonight, get some treatment, and get, get ready for game five. So um, it's definitely key that, he, that he's out there, monumental, monumental that he's out there for our unit, for our team. Final two questions are Gina Mizell with Suns.com and Kent Somers. Hey, Jay, you kind of talked about it a little bit ago, just like what you do. You've been, you've been in slumps, shooting slumps before and kind of how you, you bust out of it. So maybe just can you tell us a little bit more about just what you did the last couple of days or just like what your routine is when you hit those cold stretches to kind of try to get yourself out of it for, for a game like today? I mean, I was just put in the work. You know, I, mm -hmm. nothing changed to the point of like uh, that you would think. I'm just continue to put in the work, continue to trust your Trust the work that you put in. My teammates trust me. My coaching staff trust me. Um, I mean, I've, I made some shots, and, and guys are going to defend the three-point line, so they, 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 they're getting a hot contest on me. I just got to continue to play through it and continue to do what I do to affect the game, step into my shots, make plays for myself, make plays for others, and believe in the work that I put in. I can't really say I did anything different in, the, in these last two days to snap out of a shooting slump. I'm just embracing um, – a little failure, you know. Uh, we go through it a lot. Just, just embrace it and try to come out of it on top. And just, just that's that's only by working. So, I uh, just put a little work in and just trust your work. That's all I like to say. I've been doing. Final question is Kent Somers with the Arizona Republic. Monty's philosophy obviously is up tempo offense, preaching point five. But it seems like in the two wins against the Lakers, you guys have been very successful about pushing the ball and getting early offense. How big of emphasis, do you see it that way? And if so, how big of emphasis is that? Yeah, we, we talk about it because the only way you play like that, the only way you're going to get out and run and play play fast and share the ball and move is you get stops. You can't do it with taking the ball out the net every every other possession. So we got to continue to just try to get stops so we can get out and run. That helps our offense. That helps us on both ends of the court. And obviously, um, when, when even when times when, when it gets tough, we still got to get out and run and play for one another and make plays for one another because uh, that's how our offense clicks. That's how, that's how we all click together uh, in jail together. So 
Uh, obviously, the, the, the defensive part is hand in hand with the get out and run and offense and playing point five. You got to get stops to do that. And I think as we continue to do that, we have a chance to continue to get out and run and make plays for one another on the offensive end.